Public schools are getting ready to kick off another school year next week, and last night they made some moves to further make sure that their schools are safe for students. Local 4's Casey Mins caught up with district officials today and joins us now from our Grand Island newsroom with more. Spencer Danielle, according to the National Center for Education Statistics in 2020, only about 15% of high schools had random metal detector checks. And last night, the Grand Island Board of Education approved a plan to train people to use metal detector hand wands when they are warranted. That training will be for all school building administration at Grand Island Senior High, as well as the school resource officers. According to the district safety officials, the training was developed partially in-house with the aid of videos made by the Transportation Safety Administration. As of the start of this school year, Gish will be the first school to fully implement the plan, but the policy does leave the door open to the possibility of other schools adding the safety measure. GIPS Assistant Safety Coordinator Wes Jaden says his background helped guide his recommendation for the program. I am law enforcement retired law enforcement. Um, my partner Lee Jacobson is also law enforcement. We saw the need to have this safety in place uh, in order to have opportunities to have a safe way to search people that are coming in. And Jaden says the metal detectors are available for use at Grand Island Senior High's football stadium. And he also says these metal detectors will be used in place of pat-downs, and he hopes that they will act as a deterrent from anyone who would look to cause trouble. Danielle Spencer, back to you in Hastings.